Walking around the Commonwealth, you may encounter a junkyard called Big John's Salvage. From the outside, it looks like a simple yard that has been taken over by mutants. After killing them all, you will get the cleared sign over your map telling you that the area is completed. Unbeknownst to you, however, there is a grim story in this place, and a little bit more to discover. If you enter the house that belonged to the owner of the junkyard, you will discover a big master level safe beside a computer monitor. The monitor will detail logs about the family that used to live here, a married couple with a son and a daughter. By reading further, you will discover that the dad was afraid of a possible nuclear attack, and so designed a safe house in case that would happen. By following the clues, you will find the safe house inside of an empty wagon with a strong steel sealed door. You realize the door is locked, as apparently the air system of the mini vault has been shut down, which causes the door to seal shut and become unmovable. Worried about the possible denizens of this hideout, you hurry to turn it on. But as you enter the safe house, you discover the two dead adult bodies hogging each other in the bed. The skeletal remains show they have been dead for a long time. I knew they were going to die. It's hard not to think about how afraid they must have been. You knew from the logs on the computer that the dad was having issues with the generator and that if the generator were to be shut down, they would be trapped inside. But it also states that he was afraid that if the bombs fell, the kids wouldn't know where to go to protect themselves, as the kids were only 5 and 7 years old. So you wonder, could they be okay? Maybe they didn't make it to the safe house and hence they didn't get trapped. But then you progress further in the safe house and you look closely. You realize there are two mounds of dirt by the very end that look manually dug in and filled, with a baseball glove and a ball for the boy and a teddy bear for the girl. Apparently the kids made it to the safe house, but also died trapped in. An air of sadness, but also confusion arises with the dead of this family. How did they die? Were they trapped for a long time and ran out of supplies? Was the safe house not good enough to prevent the radiation from seeping in? For a while, the questions will circle your head until you randomly find an antenna very close to the junkyard. An antenna that seems to be powered off. After you turn it on, you realize there's a signal on your radio, a signal called Miller Family Radio Signal. After you hear it, you realize it is the family you encountered in the safe house. The sound of the recording is extremely low and very hard to understand. But it says, Chuck, John, anyone out there, my family needs your help. We're trapped in our bunker, Big John's salvage yard. Generator running, the ventilation died, and now the hatch. Shut tight, vacuum sealed. Please, someone. We're almost out of oxygen. The hatch is in the tipped train car. Please, start the generator. Kimmy, stay calm, honey. Breathe slowly. That's it. Slowly. The family was trapped, and they tried to ask for help, but the antenna was disconnected for an unknown reason. So no one was there to hear their cries for help. And so there lies the Miller family, suffocated. <laughs>